thumbnail photo. Go. Hi everyone, it's Sarah here, Rachel there. We're gonna talk about Disney Channel Original Musicals because it's been 10 years since High School Musical 1 came out. Goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. 10 years. Are you kidding? That makes me feel old. I feel so old, oh. for real. Cause, let's see, I was 12 when High School Musical 1 came wow. out. How old were you? When High School Musical, or were you even born if High School Musical <laughs> came out? I kind of feel really cool that like I was a kid then because they kind of catered that movie to True. us. You know, like they thought it, they had us in mind. They're like, what will these kids like? Did we like it? Yeah, I'd say we liked it. Fun fact thing, whatever. Uh, I learned a bunch of the uh, original choreography to High School Musical 1. Like I learned the, we're all in this together. I learned Bop to the Top, and I also learned Get Your Hands in the Game because of all like the uh, bonus footage that they would put on Disney Channel. Yeah, they Do had remember the that? bonus features. They would teach you the dances. Yeah, I think I was homeschooled at that time, so that was my PE. That's a reason to be homeschooled children. All right, so the main reason why we're bringing this up today is because we want to reflect on the other Disney Channel original musicals that came after that because High School Musical was such a hit. I think Disney figured, you know what? Let's just make everything else a musical. Not everything else, but a lot of other things make other musicals exactly we have a list here um the next one was cheetah girls 2 i i think i would consider that a musical because they yeah, actually they, yeah they're like a sang, music group and they sang yeah uh, when was did cheetah they, girls 1 did they ever like sing about their circumstances like yes like, okay because yeah. i know they performed but i don't remember if they were like feeling something and just like went veered off and just sang about it. I think it was from the second movie when they sang a song called It's Over. I don't know if you guys remember, but they were like, It's over! And they were singing about like... <laughs> That's the only part that I remember because it was like Raven's face. I'm pretty sure I've seen all three of them, but they kind of like mesh into one movie in my memory. Like I don't know, I can't like, I can't distinguish which one was which. All I know is Raven left after the second one. So oh, the third one, oh, yeah, yeah. they did like Cheetah Girls One World. And then Raven wasn't there and it was really awkward and everybody was like, what the heck, where's Raven? Cheetah Girls 1 came out uh, August 15, 2003. So that, I think, actually paved the way for the rest of the musicals. Probably. But everybody doesn't remember about being Cheetalicious. Are you Cheetalicious? <laughs> Jump In. Jump In isn't actually, I don't consider it an actual musical. Because I think the thing with Disney Channel is they find actors and actresses who are talented in both singing, dancing, and acting and they just give them a song to put in their movie but it's not an actual musical because they're not singing it for the film hmm. That's telling. <laughs> i don't have anything else to say about it What's the next one so legitimately there's high school musical cheetah girls 2 after 2006 there's high school musical 2 oh dude that was a long-awaited one. That was rightfully sequel. I totally remember that there was so much hype about it, and they had these like little tidbits like of the movie that you could input, like what would be the the pic picnic sandwich they would have, and you oh, could like yeah. vote, and then what's Sharpay's favorite drink, and like, oh my gosh, that. Who I was... remember that. I totally voted. None of the things were that I chose made it to the movie, like the special guest. The Miley Cyrus. Yeah, I, did I did not, not vote for that. Cyrus Come on, no, Disney. No. I didn't want that. I did vote for uh, Corbin Blue's t-shirt that I studied or I majored in vacation or something like that. Oh, I voted I for that one. That. I remember that. And I was like, oh, hey, I voted for that. See, that's the cool thing about Disney Channel. They have like the technology and the stuff to do that. They're probably in production. Like, oh, shoot. Chad's character needs a shirt. <laughs> we'll just have we'll just have everyone vote what it should be. We were a part of High School Musical 2. <laughs> you didn't know it. But we were a part of High School <laughs> Musical 2. Uncredited. And then the hit Camp Rock came Ooh. out in 2008. Along the same year as Cheetah Girls One World. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas Brothers though, that was a good move. Yeah. I have a feeling though that they originally wrote Camp Rock because obviously three guys who are brothers. Who else would they write it for? Um, B5. B5? B5? Do you remember that? Dude, that'd be insane. Your B5, please, please <laughs> reconnect and make a movie on Disney Channel. If anything, it's gonna be R5 now. That's true. Because they, Ross. They could probably do that. They can. That'd be so fun. I wonder what set would be like. <laughs> It'd be like. I would Brady's. volunteer to be on set. I don't know. I don't know what they're like. <laughs> they're just gonna be like rowdy and just like have all these inside jokes. I saw their movie, so that's gonna be really fun. Oh, they do have a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that, but like a story. I saw it. A fiction one, like you know, like the, like Camp Rock. A Camp Rock specifically for R five. Camp Rock three. 
featuring R5. Starstruck, would you consider that to be a musical? Especially just Sterling Knight the musical because like everything. How to fall in love with Sterling Knight. The musical. The musical. Oh, that was the same year as Camp Rock 2, The Final Jam. Ooh. Yeah. That was good. I don't I don't know if it was necessary to have a Camp Rock 2. I think it was just like demanded. Like people wanted more. Yeah, they just kind of gave a storyline. Like yeah. here. Okay, audience. It made me feel conflicted because you're supposed to like forgive um whatever her name what's her name? Mitchie? No, 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 no. Um the Oh Nick Jonas's girl that no one liked no, 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 because no. she was Nick Jonas's girl. Um, <laughs> the team. one who's like the the rock star's like superstar's daughter. Yeah, Nick that, Jonas's girl? No. The I forgot her name. She's like I think the blonde girl. Oh, uh, Megan Jet Martin. Yeah. Sorry, I know them by their full, their first names. Yeah, you're supposed actual. to like forgive her, and then like she like turns on us, and then makes a second movie. Don't do that. If a character's already changed, you should show them that you can stay positive like that. Like you can actually change. Not okay. It's the end of the movie. I'll change. Another movie. Boom. Bad person again. Mm. Lemonade Mouth. My Lemonade favorite mouth. movie ever. Sort of. Guys, I have a top three. As That's it, one of it, them. But you say top three, does that mean it's your third? No, as in top three, I can't decide between the, these three. So okay. I put them all as one. It's like, you could say my top two, and you know you know, so, you know someone is like, eh. I, I consider that a musical because they actually sang yeah. and played the instruments on the soundtrack and in the movie. Yeah, and like so. the music is kind of like related to the, the plot line. It's not just like background music. Which is genius. I think other movies have actually done that, but Disney Channel has not done that. So good job with Lemonade Mouth. Team Beach movie, right? Team Beach next? movie, 2013. Actually, Let It Shine. Do you guys remember? Have you guys seen Let It Shine? I've never seen Let It Shine. I didn't, I didn't, I even didn't hear see. about it until you just said it right now. It's the one with Coco Jones, and I think Trevor Jackson was in it with uh, Tyler James Williams. That name sounds familiar, but I can't see any of them. Everybody faces. hates Chris. Oh. Yeah. Let It Shine was a thing. I never saw it. I don't know if I want to see it now. Yeah, it doesn't sound compelling. <laughs> <laughs> We've been watching way too much Wong Fu. And then Teen Beach Movie Hits in 2013. I remember seeing that on Disney Channel on TV. Like, I went over to oh. a friend's house to watch Teen Beach Movie. I didn't find an interest in it when it first came out. And then I was just, like, going through Netflix and it was on there. I was like, why not? So I watched it. It was pretty good. I liked it. I wasn't like thoroughly <laughs> disappointed. Not that I expected to be, but I was just like, oh, it's gonna be like below average. But I was like, oh, it's good. Like, I'd probably watch it again. I feel like they wrote that because High School Musical was such a big deal. Because High School Musical was like, you can see a lot of comparisons with High School Musical and Grease. And then they put Grease like in Teen Beach Movie, but with like a West Side Story twist. Also, Jordan <laughs> Fisher, yes. And then Teen Beach 2 and Descendants. Descendants. I saw Descendants. I saw Descendants a couple times. Yeah, we, we watched that. Like, we watched that. <laughs> Kenny lot. Ortega, man. I think- You mad genius. That is classic Disney doing its thing. Because right now it's all about like, the live action uh, villains, like Maleficent's out yeah. and mm -hmm. Once Upon a Time. That's it. And then the next one's gonna be Descendants 2. Wow. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I, I, have you heard anything about it? Descendants 2? Yeah, it's, it's like the plot. No, I haven't heard anything about heard, it. I didn't even know they were gonna do a second one. Because I, I know they did like this like animated series. I was like, oh, oh yeah, the Wicked World stay one. Stay there, yeah. No, so. Disney never just stays there. <laughs> no, they go all out until you're sick of it. Like High School Musical three. After that, everyone was done. They graduated. It's like Toy Story three, done. And they made it four. Why? I don't know. They tried to make a High School Musical four. It didn't work. One bitter party of one bitter party of one. That's got Hoying audition for it. Did you guys really? see? <laughs> Yeah, there's an audition for like Scott Hoying High School Musical 4 audition. Goodness. That would have been genius. Ooh. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. Um, And we will see you in the next video. Oh, I will see you in the next video. I don't know if she's going to be here in the next video. But anyways, thanks for watching. Bye. See you next time. Bye.